What is up guys, my name is Jack Gardner and welcome back to yet another free lesson on a Friday. Today we are going to be taking a look at a triad idea you can use to kind of get that Lydian sound that you heard at the beginning there. The backing track I was playing over, for any of you that are wondering, is actually from my newest package, 25 Lydian and Rock Fusion licks. I'll leave a link down to this in the description, but if you want to see these free lessons continue and you'd like to support me and the channel, then maybe go over there and check out these lessons. I have a ton of them. You can stream, download them. Of course, you get that backing track and two others and 25 Lydian licks in Guitar Pro format and PDF. Without further ado though, guys, let's dig into the lick then, the concept, shall we say. So, what we are going to look at actually is a thing called triad pairs. I have covered this before in a few other YouTube lessons. It's also in my lesson packages. But essentially a triad pair is when we take two triads that are usually next to each other in the scale that outline the sound of the mode that we want. So today we are looking at the Lydian mode. The Lydian mode, I basically think of it as like a major scale with a sharp four. So in terms of intervals, we've got this. We have root, major second, major third, raised fourth, that's that sharp four, augmented fourth, perfect fifth, major sixth, major seven, and there we have it. That is the Lydian scale, so all together. That's all well and good. I, I encourage you to learn that scale all over the fretboard, but how can we dig into it more then? Well, I think this is a really cool concept with the triads. What we are gonna do is look at another triad that we can use next to this. So in, in E, we have the, the triad that we can build from the root, that would be E major. We also have a major triad that we can build from the second degree of the scale. So in E, it's gonna be F sharp. That gives us the Lydian flavors. If we look at those intervals compared to the root note, and the major second we have, we have the sharp 11, and we have the sixth. So in reality, these are all the extensions. We've got the ninth, we've got the sharp 11, and we've got the 13. So if we put an E as a root, we are gonna get basically all the sounds of the Lydian mode that we want, that sharp 11 in particular. Now this works for your compen as well as in your lead line. So you could take E major and F sharp major triads all over the fretboard and it will sound like the Lydian mode. Check out this. Hopefully you can hear there, it's got that kind of super Lydian flavor to it. Um, it just really spells out the sharp 11 and that's what we want really. But you can also use that within your licks. So you could take just something as simple as the triad and arpeggiate it. So you could get something like this all over the E root. <laughs> So all I was doing there was essentially F sharp major triad, E major triad, F sharp major triad, E major triad, 
etc. And you can move that all around. I think it's just a really cool tool to, to use to mix up the sound, really. It, it, it's just screaming Lydian mode at you. So, I mean, more just over that route. <laughs> Straight away sounds like the Lydian mode. Like I say, I am just looking for a major triad built from the second degree of the scale. And we'll get all of those lovely extensions, including the sharp 11. Hope this makes sense. Give it a go. I'd love to see what you guys can come up with with these two major triads, this little triad pair. If you did enjoy that little mini lesson there, guys, then please do like, comment, subscribe. Click the little bell for notifications. I make free lesson content every Friday. My name is Jack Gardner. Until next time, cheers. Cheers.